the uncompromising passion for the volunteer around here. The ingredients we use will be highly grilled and hot. Great respect for the people and the culture of the world. And that's why we can do and a total commitment to the responsible enjoyment of the year. By focusing on these core values, we'll continue to ensure a sustainable future for our company, our employees, and our shareholders. On behalf of the Heineken family and all those who work for Heineken around the world, thank you for your visit. We hope that you enjoy drinking Heineken as much as we enjoy brewing it for you.
taste the beer. Indeed. All right, guys, you can go with my colleague Nikki. people per number. There we go, we're in the tunnel. Oh, we're being lowered down the shaft, are we? Oh, it's like a, a film room. Four dimensions. <laughs> oh, here it is.
tasting by taking one step forward, because you're in the doorway. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna hold our beer up into the light. We're gonna look at our beer, and we are gonna say, wow. 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 <laughs> now this might seem a little bit silly, but it's actually very important. Admiration <coughs> makes your beer taste better. Now we can start off the tasting by looking at the beer, and the first thing we see is a beautiful golden color, which comes from the lightly roasted barley. The second thing we see is the white foam on top, and this is actually very, very important as it is the protection layer of your beer. It keeps carbon dioxide inside the glass and oxygen out. It keeps it fresh longer. This also means you have to drink your beer in big sips, and I'll show you why. I'll show you with my hand because I'm not allowed to drink at work because then my story would change every time I did it. But I'll show you with my hand, you guys can take a sip. When you take a small sip of beer, you only drink the white foam on top and you drink away your protection layer. When you take a big sip of beer, you drink underneath the foam, you drink the golden liquid and your protection layer stays there till the very last sip you take. So now we're going to smell and when we smell a beer, we first swirl the beer around. Does anyone know why we do this? Nope, it looks fancy and professional. <laughs> now we can smell. Does anyone know what we smell? No, actually. We, a Heineken isn't a very hoppy smelling beer. So it's not the hops, it's not going to be the water, I'm going to tell you that now. So we have two left. Which one is it? The water, no, the barley or the yeast? It's not the barley. Yeast. Yeah. It's the yeast. The yeast gives it a very fruity aroma. And this comes from the leftovers, which are called the esters. They're still in the golden liquid. Now, if you have a very good nose, you might even smell bananas. That is a beer expert say about Heineken. Personally, I think you can only smell bananas after you've had a few beers, but I'll leave that up to you guys. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to say cheers, but we're going to do it in Dutch. Does anyone know the Dutch word for cheers? Very good. Proost. We also had it on the wall if you hadn't already noticed. <laughs> we say proost. So let's say it all together. Let's hold up the glasses. One, two, three. Proost. Take a big sip of beer, drink underneath that foam layer, and congratulations guys, you're now professional beer tasters. <laughs> you can finish your beers in the drinking area right over there, because the new group will come in in a little bit. But don't worry, you get two bigger beers at the end of the tour, so don't worry, this was just a small tasting glass. You can leave the empty glasses in our glass collectors, please don't take them with you, they're microchip, we'll find you. <laughs> well, you can buy them in the store if you really like them. What's this, dude? Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 